What's going on, everybody? It's Brian with Living Jeep. Uh, just want to talk a little bit more about the giveaway. Uh, again, congratulations to Kara Mattingly on winning. Um, I think we had around 74 entries. Uh, so again, thanks for everybody for doing that. Um, I've already done the live stream. I wanted to do a, just a quick video to get that out of the way. Uh, but I said I was going to show everybody what that surprise was. This is it. And it's not much. It doesn't look like much anyway. But it is a custom ink pen. That I had made. And it has. Um, kind of hard to see. But it has the living Jeep. Logo and stuff on it. And it kind of looks like a. Topographical map or something. I don't know. I thought it was pretty neat. Something different. Oops, I hit a button. Anyways, uh, so yeah, this is uh, some friends of mine actually uh, make these. Uh, I can put a link in the description for what company this is, but they do all this by hand. It's all custom. It's all custom work. Uh, so she's going to get this and the shirts and the hat and hoodie and all that other junk so again congratulations to her all that stuff is available on the website if anybody else is interested in it it's www.livingjeep.com i can put a link in the description for that too um so recap on 2021 uh it was a fun year it was kind of a big year for us uh first year we've had the channel uh channel's growing slowly but it's growing um went around to a bunch of different parks went up to badlands and went down to wind rock and dirty turtle and oh, where else uh blue holler and a couple of the private places um i did get rid of the the yj the dark frog yj i did get rid of it uh, but I got the buggy, and hopefully it will be done by mid-April. I really want it done by April, because I plan on going to a couple of the Great American Crawl events. One down in Arkansas and another one in West Virginia. And those are in May and June. Um, so that's, that's what's in store for this year. Uh, going to two of those, hopefully. Um bunch more content on the channel some more how-to stuff uh, I'll do a bunch of videos on the, the buggy build so if you guys want to follow that and watch the progression there and then of course the CJ6 it's it'll be in the shop hopefully Friday starting the half restoration I guess you could call it I'm not gonna fully restore it I'm gonna fix the floor pans and fix some holes keep the water from getting into it but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it the color it is uh just get it running right put a put a lift on it probably with some 35s re-gear it keep the three speed keep the 304 i'm gonna keep it as original as i can but i mean you know me i gotta put a lift on it and probably some form like a lunchbox locker in the rear or front or something. I don't know what exactly what I'm going to do yet, but uh, that Jeep will be going down the Kentucky Adventure Trail sometime this year, I hope. I hope. Uh, Eric Green, you've seen him on the channel, uh, and XJ Mike, I'm hoping all three of us are going to get together and go. Uh, I think it'd be I think it'd be pretty fun because it'd be three completely different Jeeps. It'd be Eric's uh, Night Vision Green uh, JK, the XJ Mike's Cherokee, and it'll be my CJ6. So, should be fun. If I do get the 6 finished, I'll uh, kind of let everybody know when we're going, in case anybody else wants to tag along. More the merrier. I think it'd be pretty cool to have some people join in with us. Um, we're going to be going down to the Panama City Jeep Jam 
this year for sure. Um, the uh, Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion probably be there. I hope. I don't know if I'm going to set up as a vendor. I've never been, so I think it'd be fun just to go and hang out and see everybody. Uh, I know I know a lot of a lot of vendors that are going to be there. So I think it'd be pretty cool just to go down and hang out. But I might set up as a vendor. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. Uh, if I'm able to, I will. But I don't kind of I kind of kind of confused, kind of conflicted on what I want to do there. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's planned for 2022. Hopefully, do a whole lot of wheeling, whole lot of wheeling. Hopefully, I can get the the buggy done by spring so we can go. Uh, with what I do, my day job, it's kind of hard to take off sometimes, so it's kind of hard to go on the longer trips that I'd like to go on. For ones of y'all that don't know, I am a towboat pilot. I drive boats on the river, on the Ohio River, that's where I work. I do that all day long. So people call me Cap or Cappy at work. So, anyways, uh, so yeah. Just, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. Appreciate all the all the views and likes and comments and all that stuff. So keep all that good stuff coming. Even the even the bad comments. I really like the bad comments for some reason. I don't get too many of them. Uh, I guess that's a good thing. I guess I don't know. I just I try and keep all my videos as original as I can. I don't. You know I don't do any shortcuts. I don't do hardly any editing. What you see is what you get. So, seems to be working out okay. Uh, so again, 2022, keep a lookout. Should be a pretty good year. Lots of wheeling, lots of fun. Uh, but I'll I'll keep everybody updated on the channel and on the on the Facebook page and stuff. So, thank you all for watching. Um. Hopefully, we can get to together and go wheeling together sometime. I think that'd be pretty fun. Well, I'm going to go eat me some dinner because I just got home from work a little bit ago. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment. Uh, let me know about your builds. What do you have planned for 2022? Uh, see you next time.